I'm Dr. Grace Augustine. I am an associate professor in business and society at the School of Management here at the University of Bath. I am broadly interested in questions of how workers address injustice. And so when I found out about the Horizon IT scandal in the post office case, I became very interested in finding out more and in particular looking at the role of the victims here, how they experience the injustice and how they ultimately tried to fight back against it. The post office Horizon scandal is something that actually unfolded over 16 years where a new technology was brought into post office branches across the UK. That technology is called Horizon. The problem was that there were some fundamental faults in that system and some bugs in that system that threw up discrepancies in these branches. And so it looked like the branches accounts were not balancing at the end of the week. Now, the problem is that the post office assumed that it was the branch manager stealing from the accounts and prosecuted them hundreds. And now we know actually in the thousands of people were falsely accused over a decade of this for stealing basically this this mistake money. And we now know today in the drama on ITV that this was, you know, the IT system at fault. And, and the reason it's still in the news today is just that it really hasn't been resolved accordingly. So when we think about harm, there's different categories of harm. So there's the financial implications. So, you know, financial implications of having your business shut down, of having a criminal record and not being able to work again. Some people went bankrupt because they had to repay these discrepancies that were put on them. But we also look extensively at the personal consequences and the mental health implications, feelings of shame, people being stigmatized by their local community because they've been labeled as a thief or as stealing from pensioners. The individuals in this case, um, many of them did not want to come forward and did not actually want to talk about what was going on. In part, this was because they were told from post office auditors and prosecutors and investigators that they were the only ones with the problem. And they internalized that belief. They had no reason to think there were other victims out there. And so they didn't really know it was a problem with the IT system and started to maybe doubt themselves. You know, did I do something wrong? Did I press the wrong button? Maybe I'm not very comfortable with technology. So that that gave them, I guess, what we're terming a paralysis or really a disincentive to speaking out. And they also felt they wouldn't really believe, be believed up against the word of the post office, which is such a highly, at the time, highly reputable organization. Um, but there are managerial failings inside the post office as well. You know, there was a culture where they really believed that this horizon system was completely infallible. And, and their sort of insistence on that belief also contributed to this taking so long to come out in the public eye. I think there's a lot we can learn from this case for organizations today. And I think as this public inquiry continues to go on and there's more I guess, public attention to the inquiry. We're going to learn more and more about what was going on inside the post office and inside Fujitsu as this was unfolding.